In today's economy, inflation has affected your wallet and mine, everybody's. Inflation pushing up the price of everything from groceries to gas to insurance. But inflation is also affecting banks. Earlier just today, First Financial Bank of Abilene in its annual stakeholder meeting reporting lower income in just the last year. KTAB's Mariah Williams was there to see how things are adding up. How many times have you given somebody a salary increase and then decreased it when inflation went down? It doesn't happen. Inflation has been a sticking point for businesses and banks post-pandemic, putting them on their back foot. This is the first time in 37 years the company has had a decrease in net income from the prior year. Earnings were impacted by the difficult interest rate environment over the past 10 years, which significantly increased our funding costs. First Financial Bank sharing they are not alone in attempting to navigate market pressures during their annual shareholder meeting. Managing the margin has continued to be a challenge with the significant increases in the Fed funds rate the past two years. Reporting a $35 million decrease in net income in the last year, but they are seeing an increase in the number of people borrowing money, following a trend of the current financial economy. We have done very well with growth in loans, and the, the pipeline today is very full. So we look, you know, at least through mid-year, things look very good for us to grow. Mortgages are picking up, which is important. People are buying houses again. They're getting used to the higher rates. And so uh, I think the, the Texas economy and the Abilene economy is doing extremely well. Reporting in Abilene, what coverage you can count on. I'm Mariah Williams, KTAB News. Thank you, Mariah. First Financial Bank is currently ranked by Forbes as the number 21 out of the top 100 banks in America with 78 locations across Texas.